Welcome back to Sally's face got accused of murder and now it's bloody and he has to wear a mask. The last time that we left off, uh, Sally got accused of murder, at least from what we found out. So we're going to go back in time and try to figure out how the hell he got accused of murder. It makes a lot of sense in, in, in my head. All right, let's see how many episodes there are because I haven't even looked at how many episodes there are. There's five episodes. Nice. How did I only get 68% on episode one? I probably didn't play the Game Boy or something. All right, let's just hit continue and start with episode two. Let's see what happens. Happens. Oh, we're just gonna get started. Not even like a episode two intro or something. Look at his face. His face is like a shadow, dude. Mom, don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, mom. Can't you hear him? I like doggies. <laughs> Why didn't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please. Please, can I go pet the doggy? Ama, por favor. Quiero ver el perrito. <laughs> Oh, oh, all right, Sal. Just, uh, just give me a second. Get my purse. Then we can go together. Hell yeah, fool! I'm gonna be over there by the trees. I'm out. Okay, you come over here whenever you get your shit together. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go pet the doggo first. Let's, uh, doggo. <laughs> Hey, Pepito, I want to pet you. Is it like a little chihuahua that'll bite the, the, the awa, awa kind of doggy, or is it like a, like a, like a big roof, roof, fluffy doggy? What was that? How? <gasps> Is that how he got his face chewed up? No, uh Did the dog bite his face off? <gasps> what happened? Mom's purse? Wait, what, what, what is this? What does it all mean? Oh, no. Uh, excuse me, where's your nose? First of all, second of all, before I read this, I got a question here. Did, did his mom die from a dog attack and he got his face chewed in? Or what happened? Or, or like, it, was that a flashback or is that just like a nightmare or something? That, if that is what happened, that's fucked up. That's traumatic. Uh, but, but, okay, I, I'm not gonna assume that could have been a dream or that might have been a flashback. Who knows what the fuck happened? This is Mrs. Sanderson. I thought she died. Thank you so much for coming to help with the toilet. No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels and the street corner is just dangerous. I understand, fool. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Wait a minute. Am I still in episode one? Did I not finish episode one? I thought the episode one was... She just called me Larry. Did I say I was... My name was Larry? What? I, I, I'm so confused. Someone took a fat shit here. Orale. I'm, I'm very... I'm very extremely confused. <laughs> I'm lost. My brain hurts. I'm trying to decipher what's going on. Okay, just for my own sanity, I looked it up, and yes, this is where the second episode starts. So I am, I'm right. I'm on episode two. I'm not tripping. I'm just extremely dumb and confused. <laughs> Maybe it'll all be revealed. I'm just looking for switches now. It's like the imagery of poor Sal with his bloody face is really unsettling. Whoa! There's a fucking pony! You there, uh, please, uh, help me. What's wrong, fool? The water, it stopped, uh, so thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Uh, please, hurry. Okay, so that's what the switches are for. I had to talk to him first. <laughs> oh, that one doesn't work. Okay, the switches work now. What? Okay, so I got, I have to be in a nightmare. This isn't reality. Because there's no way there would be a fucking pony talking to me like that. Oh, the switches have, there's one, two, and three. Each of them have, like, two, see, this is two. I got it. It's, I'm smart. I'm I fucking hate puzzles, pero como quiera, I figure them out. Siempre termino chingón. Figuring out all the puzzles. All right, let's do this. Fucking switches and shit. But I thought that he got his face burned or something. Like, I'm still confused. I want to know. Is it true that his face really got fucked up by the... Dogs. <laughs> oh, no. What is this? I got eaten by a fucked up toilet. Okay, look, look through here. Oh! Shit. Mrs. Sanderson? Got turned into ketchup. Whoa, this is cool. Whoa, this is cool, bro. This is cool as shit. This is some cool shit right here. Oh, this is awesome. I love this. It's trippy. So, come closer. I have something to show you. It wasn't him. Oh, God. Oh, no, don't do that. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. Okay, so he is dreaming. It was a nightmare. Jesus Christ. 
I was so confused. I thought that was like a part of the story and it's winter now. Episode two, the wretched. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright, we're back. We're back to reality. I was so confused. <laughs> Larry, man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's uh, this building. There's something off about it. Dude, like, oh, I know how insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life, and, like, I haven't seen any ghosts, but... But what? W well, uh, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. How long have we known each other for now? Ah, uh, God, where's he taking me? Are you gonna show me your hentai collection? Oh, no, we're going outside. <laughs> Alright, cool. Hey, fool, this one time, there was a lot of no-no snow, and me and the boys... Oh, uh, whoa, uh, how come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. <laughs> how did Sal never notice this fucking treehouse like literally a few steps outside of the of the, of the apartment complex, the fucking building? <laughs> awesome. All right, let's go to the treehouse. Is he going to kill me up here? Please don't kill me. A cool treehouse in the winter, dude. This would be amazing. It's such a vibe. This is cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger, but we didn't have any trees. Yeah, my dad built this for me uh, before he disappeared. Wait, what? I mean, he disappeared. Yeah, he went to like go get milk and stuff, and then uh, the next day he was just gone. He didn't come back. And all these things were still here his clothes, his tools, his wallet, driver's license, are long. Just bared. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard it is. Did your parents not get along or what, fool? No, my parents loved each other. One time I heard them loving each other very much, and uh, I kind of got scared and I never went back to their room. It isn't what it sounds like, though. My dad didn't leave us if it. <laughs> If that's what my mom chooses to believe, I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know, I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chug swear that the apartment is haunted, but, well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before it disappeared, I did something I'm not pr too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers, and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I let a few out back, and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. Aw, oh, damn, that's rough, fool. Yeah, uh, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson. She was screaming at me like crazy as if i needed another reason to piss off that old hag i felt horrible though that poor bunny anyway i was like coming down in the elevator that's when i saw the demon the fuck he reached out and touched me i got a super cold chill down my whole body i was scared shitless dude i thought i was just losing my mind he was gone so quick as he came and, and the doors just opened he cursed me because of what i did he cursed me everything in my life was fucked after that my dad disappeared my mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I accidentally spilled water in my Pokemon card collection. I stubbed my toe on a Lego. Worst combination possible. I missed so much school I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So do you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. Whoa, 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 hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that's happened. Okay, hold on, pause. This is some twisted story that he is making up because I think that he is the killer. I think Larry is the one that killed his father. He's psychotic. He's making shit up to find acceptance from Sal. I think he's the killer. Well, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't blame yourself. Yeah, he see, he's trying to, he's trying to find sympathy. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I ever seen before. Before I was like moving shadow all black and misty, but the form of a man, he had the form of a man. The eyes were the worst part. Deep red eyes pierced right through you. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. I did. I know. I saw it last episode. Just look at the video I posted. No way. When? I swear, I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghost, too. It was in his apartment. I saw that demon. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Well, maybe there's some clues around that would help. We can try to find out some more about the ghost, see if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got... Right, awesome, yeah. Let's go, Larry. Fuck. You talk weird, by the way. My Game Boy. Why is my Game Boy flashing? Huh? That's strange. What is that? What do you mean, what is that? I found this weird Gear Boy car cartridge in the lost and found box while I was a little while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. No way. That was one of the last pictures we took together in all before it disappeared. Hmm. I better keep looking. Nothing useful in there. Let me look in the chest. Bunch of nature, outdoorsy magazines, a worn leather jacket, and what is that? There's some kind of weird small box here. It looks like it's sealed shut. Take that shit, bro. The Game Boy's the Game Boy acting up. What's in the box? 
I have no idea, man. I belong to my dad. Some kind of puzzle box. Never figured out how to open it, though. It looks like there's a piece missing. Oh, yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Uh, do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, 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 go ahead, bro. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. But look, we found another clue. Just let me know if you get it open. All right, yeah, of course, dude. It's getting pretty cold. We should head back inside now. Ready when you are. Okay, look. I need to figure out what's going on in this box. And also, what I didn't notice is that giving Larry that voice <laughs> was gonna be such a chore. <laughs> My throat hurts. <laughs> security cameras. They got security cameras and everything. Probably after that lady died. Okay, look, dude. I'm gonna go look around and see what else I can find out. All right, sounds good. Sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. Don't tell me you poisoned his mom. Look at that drawing, bro. And there's another picture of a dog. And look, the funeral that I went to at the, at the very, very, very beginning. Why is that in his room? Hey, look, there's a picture of us in the mirror. All right, so we've become good friends. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Oh, Megan is the, yeah, the ghost bitch. Let me go into Lisa's room. Whoa, Lisa, bro, you get any sleep lately? Jesus Christ. Hey, Lisa, feeling better today? Oh, hi, SL. I think today I might be, might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back into it. Bro, she's a very dedicated janitor. <laughs> the only janitor that I have ever met that is actually excited to mop floors. Take it easy for now and get some rest. I, I, don't worry about me, Sal. I've been uh, resting plenty and Larry has been so helpful too. I'll be just fine. All right, well, sure thing. Let me just look around and uh, see if there's any Game Boy activity going on here. You got any Game Boy? What have you been doing with those tissues? I don't want to know. <laughs> Yo, Chuck, wait, what happened to the vending machine? Did you eat all the snacks? Bro, all I gave you was a quarter. Chuck, what are you up to? Oh, hi, Sal. Um... I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't stand my Saturdays without chocolate. <laughs> I hear you. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico's Woodish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. Wait. Me too. I, I, I totally missed that conversation. <laughs> I fucked up the colors. <laughs> Wait, he said there was a cartridge in the lost and found? This isn't like anything I can use right now. When did I find the cartridge in the lost and found? Really? Who keeps leaving their clothes here? Damn it, somebody just fucking around. It's probably Megan. She probably left the fucking clothes there. She needs to wash her clothes. Either that or the crackhead Miss She-Hulk lady from floor number four. Okay, let's go talk to Megan. She's in room 504. Vamos a ver qué pasa. Megan, estás aquí, cabrona? I should call Larry up here so he can meet Megan. Then you'll have to believe that Addison Apartments is haunted. Larry, you there? I'm here, what's up? Yo, can you come up to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine. She'll be passed out for a while. Anyway, I'll be right up. All right, he's coming. Larry, check it out, fool. There's this creepy-ass little bitch ghost that, uh, uh, her name is Sharon Needles. She's in the bathroom. Come on, come here, bro. Come here, I'm gonna show you. Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh, shh. Whoa. Just wait a minute. Megan, are you there? Hello? Why don't you meet my friend Larry? I don't think there's anything here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though. I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl. How often do you come up here? Uh, I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. <laughs> I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. I, I, as weird as it says, I believe you, okay? You're my best, but if this helps at all, finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Know who you should go talk to? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also in the supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help some out. Todd, really? Huh? I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so, uh, normal? Rational? Yeah, 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 I guess, uh, I guess so. Okay, well, uh, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. All right, I'm gonna head back downstairs, make sure my mom's right on the fine thing. All right, yeah, cool, we'll do, man. Come on. <laughs> God damn it, Megan. You're such a bitch. Megan, you're making me look bad. God damn it. So, uh, which room is Todd in? Todd is in 202. Let me go back to 202 and talk to Todd. All right, 202. This is Todd's place. Never, never met Todd before. Well, I mean, Sal knows Todd now, but hey, Sally Face. Oh, he's the nerdy kid from the pictures, from the game artwork. Is that his girlfriend? She kind of cute, bro. What's her name? All right. Well, um, anyway, <clears throat> sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met yet? Uh, no. Tutoring? Yeah, sure. Hey, I'm Ash. Ah, <laughs> uh, love interest. You must be Sally Face. Uh, I've heard so much about you. Uh, I, uh me? Uh, you have? Uh, well, how? Uh, um, yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too. Uh, <laughs> you too. Damn, damn. I mean, it's... 
nice to meet you as well. Damn. Okay. Uh. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. All right. So Todd needs to have like a nasally voice. No problem. Uh, we can work more on algebra next week. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that, that'd be that'd be awesome. Uh, enjoy the weekend, boys. All right, Todd. I had no idea that you were tutoring Ashley. Are you okay? Uh, you seem a bit anxious. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay, okay. Uh, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What is she like? Full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us and overall a nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. For, yeah, sure, I, I suppose so. Uh, I can't get this dude's voice, dude. I can't do this. <laughs> sure, I suppose so. He didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though. What's up? Uh, all right, 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 right. Yeah, I see dead people. Are you referring to Mrs. Sanderson? Uh, no, nah, something else. Uh, this building is haunted, and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Ah, oh, I see. I, I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Ah, uh, really? Ah, uh, no, yep, yep, it does. It does seem to uh, be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both fond of bathrooms. <laughs> However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them, though. That is only speculation on my part. Do you have the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. So you're telling me that these fools already know how to figure out how to talk to a ghost from other dimensions using Game Boy cartridges and shit. Like it's, like it's second nature, you know? Like it's something that's normal for them to do. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the Gear Boy always light up when she's near uh it doesn't light up every time usually i just start talking to her sometimes she comes out sometimes she doesn't okay go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit hey what's up fool anyone here bitch we're gonna hurt you if we're if you don't come out hello fuck maybe i shouldn't have threatened them nothing is happening and the game isn't lighting up either i have an idea let me see that I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool dog, uh, sounds good to me. I need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost the electrical output. So like, uh, an antenna and a battery pack? Yeah, sure, I'll, uh, I'll be in my room once you're ready. Uh, okay, where the fuck am I supposed to get an antenna and a battery pack? Alright, Larry, uh, <laughs> where the fuck do I go now? Todd's parents are in there. I don't want to bother them. Yeah, especially when you hear the, the thing happening in, in the room, you don't want to knock. You don't want to knock. All right, here, let's go to Todd's room. Ah, oh, Todd, super awesome room, dude. Room looks fucking dope. I'll be right back. I don't have anything for power. Or wait, wait, wait. Do I have anything for power or reception? No, I don't have anything. All right, hey, yo, Larry, you got any antennas, bro? You know where I can find a... Is your mom okay, first of all? Uh, yeah, she'll be all right. The change seasons always gets her. It's just bad codes. She'll be all right. All right, I'll be right back, dude. As to La Vista, Sally. Wait a minute. There's an antenna right fucking there. Oh, I guess that'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, look, thanks, dog. <laughs> that bitch was shining, too. Oh, look, I'm in a picture with them now. Now I'm obsessed with pictures. I've been playing Layers of Fear on the VR channel and it's super cool to look at all the art. Yo, Todd, uh, check this out, dude. I got an antenna, and do you know anything about the puzzle box, fool? That's an interesting box, but we'll need something that can generate power. The walkie-talkie has a battery pack. Can you use that? Yes, the battery pack from your walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. With the two components you retrieved in my own experiment, I mean equipment, same shit. I can adequately make the modification of the Gear Boy 1. Spoke of earlier. What? <laughs> Give me a moment to get ready. I don't like that the game actually chops up the sentences because I read it wrong. Okay, all set. Behold the Super Gear Boy. Oh, yeah, tight, dog, tight, yeah. Um, don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. Uh, you had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts for your walkie-talkie and I wasn't able to salvage it. Hope it's all right. Larry's not going to be so happy about that. Uh, it's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the intent fully extended. To do so, press the Y button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in its proximity. While it's flashing, press the R button. B fuck, I don't have an R. I'm playing on an Xbox. Press the R button there to produce large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surgery of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly supernatural elements as well. <laughs> All right, I think I get the gist of it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Sound like a talking computer now. Whenever you're ready, hold up the gear by pressing Y. <laughs> okay. So how do I press R? Oh, that R. Hmm. Maybe I... Oh! Oh, shit! We summoned a demon! It, it worked, fool! Uh, oh, holy crap. Hello? Uh, what's the matter? Yo, what's up with you, dog? Did you die taking a shit or what? I never thought he'd kill them. I... It's all my fault. Who? 
Stacy and her daughter. Oh, God, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. Uh, it's never a crime to follow your heart. Bitch, you out here fucking giving advice to a ghost that's already dead. Look at this dude's face. <laughs> Todd's like... <laughs> You must be a romantic like I was. Uh, it's kind for you to say, but I know better than that. Uh, we want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? Oh, we can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, no. <laughs> what? What is it? He's here. Who? The red eyes man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Did you see that flash in the mirror? Yo, Todd's like, bro. That was fully forming conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay, dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I'm, I'm, it's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories and, 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 and the corner thing that I actually experimented. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we got some work to do. I think I'm, I've, I've had my feel for excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents or about... Fuck. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out and make sure it's okay. I, I <laughs> he sounds like a nervous dude. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I can play the gear boy? Nuh-uh. In seeking prudence. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Wait, am I playing as the- I'm playing as this dude. What? Sorry, members only. Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. What is this? All oh, these rooms look the same. Oh, there's- there's noise in that one. Oh, nice! I made it! Hello, miss, are you okay? Uh, who are you? Uh, pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montague. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. Uh, that's kind of you. I take it you're not with the men of this church? No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible what goes on in this place. It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family last year in the big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. Just tell me what you need. That's awfully kind of you, Mr. Montague. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Homeless. You're, <laughs> you couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer, glad to be helpful to nice folk like you. The pleasure's all mine. What? All right. Well, uh, I don't have chapter one or two. I don't know how I missed that. Must have been in chapter one. That's why it was 68%. How did I fuck that up? What did I need to do to unlock... What? Holy shit, that's a baton. Bro, Todd be hitting it hard here. All right, it's time to go do some detective work with my super duper Game Boy. How cool is that, bro? <laughs> I'm a fucking Ghostbuster with the Game Boy as my main tool. Fuck yeah. That's that's nice. Nice, dude. Nice. Yo, 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 uh, uh Larry, bro, you, you, yo, check out my super gear boy, dude. Todd made that like that's pretty awesome. Like, what is that my walkie talkie? Oh, yeah, he needed some parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get his new one. Damn, well, that's all right. Hopefully, it will help you find out more about these ghosts in my curse. Agreed. Agreed. Hey, I'll be right back, all right? I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go find some, uh, do, do some ghost hunting and shit. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Didn't my Game Boy light up in the treehouse? Yo, let's go to the treehouse. This is an extremely peaceful scenery right here. Probably the only extremely peaceful thing in this whole game. <laughs> Everything else is fucked. Yo, uh, Gear Boy. Like that? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Anyone here? There is! I knew it. Sal? Uh, who are you? Uh, are you Jim Johnson? The fuck is Jim Johnson? Uh, no, 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 the, the, the Sal, the, the, I do good, the, the, uh, you're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I'm sorry. I, 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 I haven't got much time. Must remember. Remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you? Uh, I have to go now. The bridge is pissing. Uh, red ball. Uh, die. Are, are you? <laughs> Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. Dog, you're not fucking kidding, dude. Wait a minute. That unlocked chapter two. You don't unlock them. In order. Okay, so there's a chance I might still be able to unlock chapter one, and it seems like to be like a story. So I'm just gonna wait until I unlock all the chapters before I play the whole thing. Chin going. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Also, this is probably a really bad idea, but I'm gonna try the Game Boy uh, where I saw the guy with the red eyes over here. Oh, fuck. Oh, el diablo! El demonio! 
Oh shit, no, that was a bad idea. Uh, what the? I unlocked chapter six. Uh, dope, but uh, I'm fucking out of there. I'm piecing the fuck out. All right, you know what else? So the game, but it seems all the places where I've seen ghosts or where bad things have happened is the place where I, uh, where I can use the Game Boy. So let's go talk to Megan now and see what happens. Easy dubs right here. Oh, you can't press it. You can't talk to Megan. Fuck. All right. What about the place where I saw an eyeball last time? I saw an eyeball right here. <gasps> Dude, I knew it. Dope! That didn't look good. I've literally just summoned the entire army of demons. I- that, that was probably not a good idea. It didn't even unlock a chapter. All I did was just, uh, fuck shit up, didn't I? <laughs> I'm fucking around with the wrong shit, bro. <laughs> Nosotros los mexicanos no hacemos esas chingaderas, güey. <laughs> you know what else we should do to fuck around? We should go to that lady's room that died. She was in room 403 or 404. Oh, it's barred. I can't go in there. All right, where do I go now? Do I need to go get some tea? Let me get some tea real quick. Hey, yo, can I get some tea? Uh, what's with the cameras? Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Uh, uh yeah, yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's all. Now, now, that's no problem at all, though. I'd suggest you join in on the meetings in the future if you're able. You see, it seems to keep everyone informed and up to date. All right, fucking smart ass. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a new security system put in for everyone's safety. With all of the recent events and tenants were getting a bit nervous, my hope is that with this new state-of-the-art security system in place, everyone can feel more comfortable in the living arrangements. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense, dog. Um, yeah, my, my pleasure. Have you seen any ghosts around? Oh, heavens to Betsy. Please don't tell me my building is haunted. The last thing I need right now are some promiscuous phantoms frightening my tenants. I'm having a hard enough time keeping everyone happy while Lisa is sick. No, 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 it's cool, dog. Uh, Mr. Addison, every everything's fine. I was just like, uh, I, I actually summoned a demon in, in, in Larry's kitchen. And then upstairs, there was an eyeball that like a whole pentagram thing came out. And it didn't even unlock anything for my Game Boy. So you know what that means? That means is that I just like invited some bullshit demons into your house without any reward. Like I don't get anything for it. I didn't unlock a chapter of my Game Boy or anything like that. So like, uh, just, just, just working on a paper for school. That's all. Whew. Yeah, I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stressors at the moment. You did a great job, but try not to be too hard on yourself. Uh, uh, you're, you're too kind, Sal. All right, bye, but I would appreciate it some Madison tea, but it's fine. Who the fuck is Mrs. Rosenberg? Who is it? All right, Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? Uh, I just wanted to talk to you. Uh, to me? All right, come on in. The door's open. Wait, who's this? Damn, nice place. Oh, uh, uh, hello there, Sally. It brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman. Hey, hi, dog. Um, I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much time left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time's all I've had, and that's so slip away from me. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? At time, sitting here alone, my mind can drift. A great deal wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into these thoughts in the world makes less than this. <laughs> yes, time is an enigma, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. You had something to ask. Uh, <laughs> see ya. No, no, let me ask her some stuff. <laughs> Abuelita, you cook frijoles? And also, how long have you lived here? Long indeed, uh, though it's hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterdays anymore. Let alone the distant past, I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Uh, soon I will return to dust and my consciousness will merge with the great and mysterious nothing. A void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around. And trust me when I say I've tried. <laughs> Yet so wonderful dreaded empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I've been rambling on again. Can you pass me my prescription? I'm hungry and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. What was your question? <laughs> it's all right, Mrs. Rosenberg. I was asking how long you've lived in Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when the Addisons moved here from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell the Addison since it was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again, someone to share the anguish of life with. I was young and desperate for a new beginning with a foolish girl I was. Do you regret selling the land? I had life was sold to spy and I filled with regret, my dear. I thought it eventually becomes meaningless.
Holy shit, this lady's a handful. Let me just ask her straight up. Uh, have you seen any ghosts in the building? Ghost? Um, why heavens would you ask about worry about such thing as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by uh, the allure of death and its many secrets. I know, yes, yes, it's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why would you say there's such ghosts, really? I just was passing from this place to the next. Such a thin embrace that separates existence and non-existence with our frail bones and delicate casings. Any small misstep could send us reeling into eternity in the blink of night. But what about the Addisons? Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? Or... They're gone. Gone? And time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terrence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now. I've seen between his legs. I can attest to that, but that's how I see him. As that young boy with the twinkle little star in his eye and a head filled with dreams. Now look at him. I've, he never leaves that godforsaken room. I want him to come to my room, though, but he never listens. Uh, yeah, so uh, why does he stay locked in there? He went to little cookie after his family passed if you ask me he also came to my room once and i think i scared him after that night i never seen him again he's been locked up in there the boy was so wound up he was afraid of his own shadow terrence worshipped his father and gave up his dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartment slowly but surely he began confining himself in the safety of his room until one day he stopped coming out altogether yes despite the cheerful persona he puts forth from behind that door of his terrence addison is about as timid as they come damaged by a life of misfortune, but aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. Jesus Christ! That, uh, that lady just sounds fucking crazy. I never heard a lady like that. Yo, you got any ghosts in your- <laughs> She's got ghosts in her house. Hello? Oh, shit! Bitch is dead! Bitch is dead! She was actually dead! Oh, my! What a horrific device you have. It's, uh, uh, well, it's, uh, sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things you don't understand that. El Diablo. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again to see if he's found anything. Yo, wait a minute. I was checking to see if she got ghosts in her house. And her fucking afterlife skeleton ass comes out like, you got games on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so Mr. Addison saw his father die or some shit. He's never come out of the room again because he's scared or some shit. Maybe he's scared of ghosts as well. So she said go back to Todd. Todd's in floor two. So much back and forth, dude. Wait a minute. What if? Now hear me out. What if? There's one more place I have to check the Game Boy that I haven't checked yet. Charlie's place. Yes! <laughs> Not good. Not good. Not good. I just did- that was a telegram from the devil. Uh, I feel like I'm doing some shit I'm not supposed to be doing, dude. Uh, maybe I should just go back to Todd's place. Todd, 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 check it out, dog. A lot of shit has happened. It's strange, but I can finally find reports of past murders. The only one that comes up with our friend Charlie, but uh, look at this photo of him in the public record. Local murderer receives life sentence. That's not him. It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Mr. Sanderson was killed. Not even in the classified police records. It's as if they weren't here at all, or like they don't even exist. Wait, how? Fuck, for real? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age seven, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update on the report. One day after the original was filed, stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. It says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. <laughs> Where? Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the super gear boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she's had a connection with when she was alive. Now, I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Ah, uh, okay. Time to get my thinking cap on. But also, uh, see ya. <laughs> I'm just like talking to everyone, dude. I'm figuring this shit out. We're gonna find out what's going on. This plot is getting thicker and thicker and thicker and it's leading someplace. Why the fuck is Charlie's mugshot different than it than than him? What's going on? I don't remember Charlie. Charlie was ugly as fuck, bro. He had cheeseburger chesticles. Mr. Addison, I heard about Addison tea. Everyone seems to love your tea. You should open up a little shop in town or something. I bet you do really well. What a fine young chap you are, Sal. Uh you know, I don't often talk about, but once, uh, my dream... 
Where did I burp? I don't often talk about this, but it was once my dream to do such a thing. Though once my father passed, I decided to carry out his dream of maintaining the Addison apartments. Don't you think your dad would have wanted you to follow your own aspirations though, dog? Fuck. Uh, I guess I suppose he would have, though. It's uh, much too late for that now. I couldn't possibly abandon this place. Uh, you could always sell it to someone who would take good care of it and then use that money to start your business. Well, come gander at our little entrepreneur in the house. You're a true inspiration, young sir. However, I'm quite happy with my life here. I get to keep father's dream going and also my tea for the tenants. It's sort of best of both worlds. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Hey, Terrence, no one has called me by that in a long time. Ha, <laughs> I almost had forgotten my own name for a moment. I just want you to know that I understand what it's like to be afraid. To hide from the world. And if you ever want to talk, I'm here for you. Blech. Thank you, Sal. You're a good person, a true friend. <laughs> I'm not the fluffy type, dude. I'll cry for fluffy shit, but I won't be the one to talk about it. All right, so maybe Larry knows about the necklace. Chug's just waiting for his snacks. He's been sitting there all fucking day, dude. <laughs> Yo, dude, have you seen this necklace? Oh, I don't think so, though. It just look quite familiar. That's what I thought, too. I'm pretty sure I've seen it somewhere in the building before. It belonged to Megan. I'm gonna try and find out how to summon her. All right, I'll come with you, with you once you find it. Sounds like a plan, bro. Where is the fucking necklace? Yo, it's the master sword on the right. Nice. And he's got an ocarina on the shelf and a Metroid figure. Dude, he's a Nintendo fan. I love it. Okay, there's one more place I haven't checked. Okay, so uh, I looked in the building, but I can't find the fucking necklace. The only place I have not checked is the lost and found. Yeah, it's right there, dude. You can see it. You can see it from here. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Dude. Oh god, I'm scared. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry, we have some questions to ask you. Yo, she came back! Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles, bruh! That's not a nice word, Larry. Ha, you have to forgive him, Megan, he's never seen a ghost before. It's okay, my daddy says bad words sometimes, too. <laughs> Look at Larry's face! <laughs> uh, uh, where have you been lately? Uh, what do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you, dog. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live, it's just like this side, but... A little different. Oh shit. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean mommy's friend? I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? <laughs> Look at Larry's face. Um, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much. But I don't know why. Oh. Did Greg kill the family, bro? What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. Uh, what about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all a blurry now. Uh, were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I never been fishing before, but my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Mr. Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends, huh? What? Okay, hold up. Pause. Pause, 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 pause. So, Larry's father was friends with Megan's father back in the day. And he's also the face of the ghost that I saw in the treehouse. That's who Jim Johnson is. I didn't realize that. Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him, please? I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Wait, what if Larry's father is in the lake? Oh, dude. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes, where did you find that? It, it was downstairs in the bottom of the lo lost and found. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like it when I talk to people. I have to go bye, 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 bye. Wait, I... Oh. Okay, I unlocked a new chapter. Shit. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. They're not helpful, dude. Ghosts are not helpful at all. Well, we're going to need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going getting it for him? Who the fuck is David? I've asked him like three times now, and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now that I see what I can do. All right, third floor. I gotta go talk to David. I gotta get a crowbar. The plot has thickened. Things have gotten progressed. Things have gotten extremely interesting. Yo, David! Oh, God, what the fuck kind of- Hey, bro, you need some food? I got some fries in my fridge, man. You could use some nutrition of some sort. You want some chips? I got frijoles. I, I can help you with anything if you need, man. Oh, hi, Sal. Uh, uh, what shins up to today? Uh, hey, David, um, can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but the only thing holding up my shelf right now is see those kids next door in 301. They're nice kids and alls, but they- There's this real loud party sometimes. 
time shake house falls shelves on my face if shins would talk them for me get them little quieter than i could jins bar croak bar <laughs> All right, bro. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I ain't clean clothes. See my, my penis. Uh, that's not a problem. I'll be right back, dude. See ya. Okay, at least we know he's not a pedophile. He doesn't want to go talk to kids in his current state. Hey, motherfucker. Yo, what's up, Sal? Uh, yeah, CJ, uh, what are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. All right, here. Let's go to 102.5, the beat. See, look. This should be all right. How about this? Dude. I think this would put everyone to sleep. Oh, my bad. This is the kind of music I like, see? But, uh, okay, here we go. Oh, there you go. Nice. That's the one. How about this? Love it, dude. Good choice, little man. Nice. All right, now. Excuse me, miss. What's your name? Hey, Sally Face. I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? How about this game? I think that could work. We have enough chairs and CJ's working on the music now. Yeah, it would be fun. Yo, what's up? Hey, Sally Face. I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I just usually work. Okay, it's okay. Let me, let me look at your list. Activity list. Karaoke, bro. Wait, God damn it. The guy asked me to make the tell them to turn down the party and I'm doing like all the loud shit. Hang on. How about a chess tournament? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, do a chess tournament. Okay, hold on. This music is too loud, dude. How about classical music? Okay. Okay, it's unexpected. It's classy. It could work. Fucking losers. Can I look at that book again? All right, here. Is there a different one I can choose? Because charades is also very loud. Duck Duck is loud. Dodgeball, definitely loud. Telephone, they whisper in each other's ears. Perfect. That's the one. I think that does it. The party should be... Yes, 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 yes. It worked. It worked. What a boring-ass party I just made, dude. So pretty... Yo, can I borrow your crowbar? Uh, it worked out. I worked out all the college students. Uh, they're going to have a much more low-key party this time. Well, that's great news. Uh, thanks for helping me. I'd Sarah be so happy to la la last gear up. Uh, I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for you. Uh, one second. Uh, right, nice. Put some pants on, by the way, dude. All right, I think this is a good place to stop for today. I've been recording for an hour and a half, and uh, there's probably still a lot more to do. We haven't even scratched the surface of the mystery. This just kind of like wet my palate. This just kind of like made my mouth water. I want to know more. I want to keep finding out this is this is actually a really good game and i was not expecting it to be this good and to be this drawn in into this world i want to know more i want to explore everything i want to know what happened to every character i want to know who the real killer is as a matter of fact right now i don't even give a fuck who the real killer is i want to know how everything is connected i'm going full detective mode on this game but anyway thank you guys so much for watching another episode of sally face if you enjoyed it please leave it a like let me know down in the comments if you want to see more share it with your friends if you're not already subscribed please subscribe but i love you guys and I'm going to see you next time. Bye.